talk about uh, stomatitis nicotina. Now, stomatitis nicotina is also called as the smoker's palate. It is also called as stomatitis nicotina palatine. Now, there are specific white lesions that develop on the hard and soft palate in heavy cigarette smokers or cigar smokers or even the pipe smokers. And these lesions develop due to the heat of uh, the smoke rather than the effect of tobacco itself. Now, so if you have a question in your M MDS entrance exam question, like the reason, the actual reason for stomatitis nicotina, is it heat or the chemical effect? It's actually the heat which produces this kind of a uh, lesion specifically on the hard and the soft palate. Now, in many cultures, hand-rolled uh, cigarettes or cigars are smoked with the burning end held within the mouth. And this habit is called as reverse smoking. And the lesion associated with this is called as the reverse smoker palate. And this is what is stomatitis nicotina. So since you're holding the burning end of the cigar or the cigarette inside the mouth the lesions are produced because of the heat rather than the effect of the tobacco and uh, and this condition that is stomatitis nicotina is also called as the reverse smoke palate and it occurs because of the reverse smoking and two important things that you should know about uh, stomatitis nicotina is one is that the appears uh, in the early stages as just um, reddened mucosa and subsequently becomes grayish white in nature and you can see salivary gland openings uh, that is numerous erythematous spots it represents focal thickening surrounding the orifice of salivary gland which appear as a white umbilical nodule with red center that may stain brown uh, because of the deposit of the star and these either uh, they are normally presented sub separately with some amount of normal tissue in between them and they very very rarely uh, collate together and uh, another important thing or a classical feature about this is that you will see a dried mud appearance that is during the later stages uh, when there is initially there is reddening and later it subsequently becomes grayish white and then it becomes thickened and fissured now these fissures and cracks may give the appearance of wrinkle and irregular surface giving it a dried mud appearance so where is that dried mud appearance seen it is seen in stomatitis nicotina or the reverse smoker palette now if you're writing a two marker or a three marker question what you can mention is this classification of stomatitis nicotina that is the mild, moderate and severe. Mild is consisting of red dot like opening on the blanched area. Moderate is characterized by well-defined elevations with central umbilications and uh, severe is marked by papules of 5 mm or more with umbilications of 2 to 3 mm. Now this will help you fetch better marks. So what is the treatment of stomatitis nicotina? It is a stoppage of the habit. Uh, it, it, is, it is completely reversible once the habit is discontinued and the lesions resolve within two weeks of cessation of smoking. However, biopsy of uh, stomatitis nicotina is rarely indicated, but biopsy should be performed on any white lesion of palatal mucosa that persists after one month of discontinuation of smoking. For more such videos, please like, share, follow and subscribe my YouTube channel. You can also follow me on Instagram. Have a good day. Thank you.